And God, God did His sacrifice for him. They poured water on it and everything, but God made a difference. Mm -hmm. And after Elijah's greatest victory, Jezebel sent a note that said she's coming for him and going to kill him. And he lost courage. And he ran and hid in a cave. You see, there's a moment in all of our lives that we forget but God. Mm -hmm. We forget that God can make a difference. Mm -hmm. God sent an angel to him and fed him. And, and what he fed him sustained him for like 40 days. You know, there's a lot of wives out there that like to have that recipe not to have to cook for their husband for 40 days. But, <laughs> but he went strong. And, and it, he became renewed. Mm -hmm. This morning, there are some people discouraged out there. And, and, and I want you to remember God. I want you to remember His power. I want you to think upon the things that's happened in your life that you prayed for and God did miracles. And I want you to sometimes make a list because sometimes we need to pull that list out and see what God's done in our life. But the disciples, they thought all was gone when Jesus died. They was, they was out wandering around, didn't know what to do. And I remember the story of the road to Emmaus. They was talking and Jesus appeared to them and they didn't recognize mm -hmm. Him. And he, he expounded Scriptures to them and He told them about everything that had happened and then they understood and they realized who He was. And it said their hearts burnt within them. You know, I've got lost loved ones. that Man, I would love to see their hearts burn within them. To hear God's Word. In Ephesians chapter 2, it says, And ye hath he quickened who were dead in their trespasses. See, that's who our loved ones is. They're dead in their trespasses. Not because they're evil people, but because their eyes have not been enlightened. Verse 2 says, Where in times past we walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the air and the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. See, old Satan. He will lure you away by so many enticing things that bring you pleasure for a season. And He will lie to you and tell you what good times it is. In verse 3 it says, Among whom we all had a conversation in times past, and the lust of the flesh fulfilling the lust of our flesh. <coughs> fulfilling the desires of the man and were by the nature children of wrath but as others. And then verse 4, which I've already read, said, But God, who is rich in His mercy, for His love, wherein He loved us. I, I just want you to think about but God this morning in your life. You know, when this radio station started here, it was probably, some would think, an impossible dream. But see, they forgot about but God. I understand a fellow donated Brother Drake a tractor. And that's what started this radio station. And, you know, there's people that can be touched by this radio station. And, you know, just like David in the Bible that needed to be encouraged, I don't know about you all, but I need to be encouraged. I, I, I need this radio station. I need to be able to work in the field and hear God's Word. I need to be able to drive up and down the road and be reminded of the miracles of God. This radio station don't just have singing, man. It's got preaching and whatever it takes to touch you, whatever, whatever fills your spiritual needs, you can get here. This, this radio station prays for people. And today I would like to ask you to support this radio station. To keep them on the air. Because if they're not on the air, what else can you do to reach so many people? To lift up prayers to you. For your loved ones. When someone in your family has a stroke or they're sick. 
You could call this radio station. And there's immediately hundreds and hundreds of people praying for us. And that's what I'm talking about. But God, you're putting God in a situation there. And that's so powerful. So as we go back to the singing, I'd like to give you these numbers and ask you to call in. I'm going to ask you to support this station. I tell you what, I, I think about the people that work here like Mildred and Cindy here, and I don't see any way that I can do what they do. They put in so many hours. But God gives them strength. It's the only way. That's the only way they can do this. Mm -hmm. Is God gives them strength. Mm -hmm. This radio station is a ministry that has give up, give people God's word and reminded them about God. And we'll never know how many families have been restored because of this radio station. Mm -hmm. Because some preacher on this radio station has shared. And it just seemed like the message was just for you. Mm. Well, I want to encourage you tonight. If you got, a, or today, if you got a child that's out of the will of God, don't give up. Mm. Go to go to God's Word and read, and you'll see so many places where it seemed like there's no way out. How could you go through the wilderness with two or three million people like Moses did and feed them every day? Mm. Give them a drink of water every day. I mean, there's no way they should have survived. But God told Moses to speak to the rock and you'll have water. Sent quails to fall at their feet. Their clothes never wore out. Their sandals grew with them. That's amazing. But God made a difference. Mm -hmm. And God brought them through. And you know what? God can convict the heart of that child you have that's out there in this world. I want to give you the numbers of the radio station and ask you to call in and support this station. It's 859-236-9332. Eight five nine two three six nine three three three. I'd like to end with a prayer, and then we'll have some more singing. And I apologize for my scratchy voice, uh -huh. but you know I tried to say what God's on my mind, what God's laid on my mind, and uh, it don't really matter what I sound like mm -hmm. as long as you get the message. Mm -hmm. So, if you're where you can. Bow your head and let's pray together. Lord, I, I just pray today that we can be encouraged in You, Lord. Lord, send an angel to, to encourage us just like You did with Elijah. Lord, I, I pray for the lost out there. The children and the family members that are living outside of God's will, Lord. Lord, I, I know Your Spirit can put them under conviction. I've seen miracles done, Lord. I've seen people that were living fully for Satan just come and want to serve You. And their hearts just burn within them to be able to, to soak in the Gospel. Lord, bless Jean as she comes and sings, Lord, and I, I just pray that the Spirit would fill her. Lord, bless this radio station. Or just continue to bless the people that work here. Give them the strength. And Lord, I, I pray that Your Spirit would be upon the programming that's done here to be able to touch people, to be able to help people in their lives. Lord, that God, that this radio station would just be an extension of Your arm, that, that nothing would happen here that would be outside of Your will. In Jesus' name we pray these things.